Let me introduce myself. So email is probably right for your business. So let's start with job one, building your list, right? So this seems to be, to me, the biggest challenge that local businesses face in terms of just being okay with asking a customer for a commitment. Um, so, yeah, we've talked, we, we've talked on our blog about a couple different tactics that we see work. We see work. The most basic one is just ask at the register. I mean, just have a sign-up sheet. If you don't have a sign-up sheet, give us your email. We'll send you a sign-up sheet. It doesn't, I don't think it says local box anywhere on it. Um, uh, just put it there. You'd be surprised how many people during the course of payment will actually sign up for your email list. Just, just doing that uh, alone will, will, will make an impact. Um, you know, we do recommend that you talk to every one of your employees and, and kind of make that, you know, part of their thank you so much for coming to Trevor's Donuts. Uh, would you be interested in signing up for our email list? You'd be surprised again how many people who have affinity for your business. So everybody's everybody's seen the fishbowl concept where you drop a, a business card in, right? Easy, give something away. You know, it doesn't have to be big. It could be, you know, three dozen donuts. I think that, you know, what is that, ten dollars? It doesn't have to be big. You'd be surprised, again, how often people just say, oh yeah, I'm gonna throw that in there. Obviously, the bigger the prize, the better, but that works very effectively. Um, hosting an event uh, with a sign-up sheet. Uh, I believe, you know, there's a sign-up uh, ledger up in the front. You know, we're hosting an event. It doesn't have to be necessarily big. It's obviously more of a time commitment. There's, you know, a lot of preparation for putting something like this together, um, but, uh, you know, if you're a restaurant, if you're a bar, or something along those lines, that might be a lot easier because you have a natural event space. Uh, birthday club, you know, give something away, you know, for free on somebody's birthday. Find out when their birthday are, their their birthday is. Uh, you can send them an email on their birthday, and you just have a list. It'll feel special, but in the process, they're giving you their email address that you can then reuse for your list. Now, um, and then comment cards and surveys. Uh, you know, I, I'm on Be Our Guest's uh, email list because I really like the restaurants and I love you know, giving feedback. You'd be surprised how much your customers are, what type of affinity they have for your success. They will give you feedback if you let them. In fact, they are better off when you give them a comment card. Say, I care about your feedback. Can you provide me some more information in your email address so I can, so I can, so I can you know, contact you and follow up with you on it. Um, that always makes me closer to a local business because I feel like they're actually listening to me and I'm a part of it. So you do two things there, you create an affinity, but you also get an email list. Now, at the same time, you need to be setting clear expectations of what the customers will be getting. Don't, you know, do a bait and switch, right? Which is, um, you know, tell them that they're gonna get a comment card and give no indication that they're gonna get emails from you. Because everybody gets, un how many people get unwanted emails? Everybody, right? So people in the middle need more coffee. Can we get coffee stat in the middle? Um, uh, yeah. And how many people feel like they don't get enough email? Raise your hand. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody, right? We all have way too much email. So when somebody sends me an unwanted email, I get a little angry. I'm like, I'm totally going to click the spam button if I can find it. You know, <laughs> if I can do it, I, you know, uh, if they don't have an unsubscribe link, oh, that drives me absolutely nuts. I, you know, I'll email them back, I will tell them they're in violation of can spam laws, that you know, if I reported them, I could probably make $10,000 off of it, um, uh, and I try and scare them. Uh, and it's just out of anger. And that's not the response you want to get from your customers, obviously, right? So set clear expectations of, you know, is it okay if we send you emails on the comment card? Maybe make it a checkbox, right? So that they clearly say that. You, again, if I'm in the process of giving feedback and I feel like there's this relationship, there's a good chance I'm going to check that box.